Hello friends, we are back and this time we're going to be looking at custom cosmetics and how to actually get them to work here in Arc Ascended. I've had a couple people ask about this so it seemed like a good time to put together a really quick tutorial. So I've set up just a couple of foundations and walls to use as examples here. Whatever you're building, it doesn't have to be tech, can be any material and the skin should work on that. While we're mostly focusing on structure skins for this, the kind of same methods apply if you're doing character skins or dinosaur skins as well. So first thing you need to do is actually have some custom cosmetics uh, downloaded for your account. If you purchased the Bob's Tall Tales pack, you should have both the Steampunk and the Frontier skins automatically part of your account. And if you go on CurseForge and search the mods under Custom Cosmetics, you'll find a ton of others. Some are free, some are premium, and it all depends on what you're interested in. But obviously, you want to go ahead and make sure you have added those to your account first before you come in and get ready to use them. So using the skins is actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. I'm going to start by going into my inventory. And the way we get to our skins is a little different depending on if it's a wild card skin or if it is a mod made skin. So I'm going to start with the wild card ones. Now these are actually part of your crafting menu. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to search up steampunk. And this is the steampunk structure skin. Now this is something that is easily crafted. It's only one wood. And then once you have crafted that, if I go back into my inventory here, it's not going to show up here, but if I go to cosmetics, I now have this option in my cosmetics menu. I can then select it. And if I hover over a structure, if it's green, it is something I can go ahead and place that skin on. So here is our lovely steampunk skin. Now, depending on the skin, you may have some options in the radial menu. So if I come up to this one, go into my radial menu, I can remove the skin, I can destroy the structure, pick up, and then I have my skin settings. Now, again, this will vary based on the particular skin you're using, but this one has a couple of variants. So right now we're on default. This is the double wood variant, the metal variant, and back to default. There's also a flip skin, which lets you flip your skin in various ways. And again, this will depend on um, the mod in particular, what settings they have. I also have some of the same options here on my radial menu for the foundation. This one, however, just has two options, default and rotated for that little flooring. So that's how you get to the wild card made skins. Again, that would be the steampunk and the frontier at this point in time, and probably also more down the line as uh, wild card adds more. So now let's look at how to get the skins that you downloaded yourself, the, the ones from CurseForge. So again, we go back into our inventory. We go back to cosmetics. Here's my steampunk one that I was using, but you're also going to see these three little icons here, the person, the dino, and the house. These are pretty straightforward. This is for uh, player skins, dino skins, and structure skins. So where the heck do we find all these skins? Well, you want to come right up here to this little eyeball. This is custom cosmetics. And when you do, it will open up over on the right with all of the different cosmetics you have access to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with this one. This is the quantum skin and this one has several different options. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to drag it over. And right now my only option is the house because this is a structure skin. So I'm going to put that in here. Now you'll notice that house disappeared. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click back to inventory. And now I have this quantum skin ready to go. And just like before, I can click and select and there are my lovely skins. Now this skin in particular is a premium mod. I enjoy the, the kind of sci-fi tech look of things. So to me, this was well worth it. Uh, if you enjoy it, great. If not, there are plenty of free ones available now and more I'm sure to come. So again, radial menu into our skin settings. We have a couple of different variants.
This one also has a rotate skin option. And this kind of lets you get that visual effect of something being rotated. Uh, I don't believe, however, that you can actually get through it. It is still a wall going across here, but this just changes the look of it. And then there is also a scale option for this one where you can kind of zoom in or zoom out on your pattern and make it bigger or smaller. And again, this is just kind of visual. I can walk right through it here, but I can't get out this way. And we'll do one more. Again, I'm going to go back to cosmetics, but you'll notice my house icon is not here right now. Before I swap to another custom cosmetic, again, not one of the wild card made ones, but one of the other modded ones, you have to come here and go into the menu and remove that cosmetic before you get another one. So now I have my little house back. I'm going to go to the eyeball. And let's see, I'm going to go with the modern glass skin. I'm going to put that on my house. House disappears, back to inventory. Here's my skin again. So now I can place this. And there we go. And again, into my options. I can select the model I want. And that's really all there is to it. It's super simple. Um, even though others might not have downloaded the mod, they will eventually be able to see it. Sometimes if they're logging in for the first time after someone has applied custom cosmetics, they won't actually see the cosmetics because this will kind of download in the background to allow them to eventually see it. But once that has happened, it will go ahead and be visible to everybody. So that's it. That is how we do our custom cosmetics. Hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon for another video.